It's impossible to judge others once we stop judging ourselves. I started my day with meditation and a really nice glass of tea, and now I'm about to wash this face. <laughs> Let's do it. My morning skincare is going to start with Tatcha's Mini Favorites. It's a line that you can get from Sephora. My cousin got it as a gift for me. She's a VIB, and she has a little bit more points than I do, so her discount was way better. If you didn't know, Tatcha is a great skincare line. It brings harmony from the skin to the soul through an advanced body mind science rooted in timeless Japanese I was actually wisdom. introduced to Tatcha by a friend who loves, 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 loves the essence. Once she gave me a little bit more of the education around the science of Japanese and Korean skincare, I was hooked. Amazingly enough, I eat a lot of superfoods to take care of my body. But how about this skincare line contains a lot of those same superfoods? This mini skincare kit allows you the opportunity to experience what Tatcha is really about. This is definitely going to become a part of my new skincare ritual, both day and night. I also love the idea that I get a skincare bag. Now, I'm starting to separate a lot of my skincare from day to night, so this is how I'm gonna start. Okay guys, let's get into my morning skincare routine. Start with cleansing my face. This is the Rice Wash Cleanser. It's a pH balanced neutral cream cleanser of rice and hyaluronic acid that gently purifies while moisturizing. I like to dampen my face and then rub the cleanser on. Did you know that if you rub your cleanser on and just allow it to get into the skin, what it does is it activates all of the ingredients that you need to start working. After I rub my cleanser in my skin for about 30 seconds, I'll add water to create a rich foam and then I'll continue to massage it onto my face. Once I add the water and start massaging the cleanser into my face, I massage it into my skin for a full minute, allowing the cleanser to penetrate my skin. Once I rinse my face, I will dry my skin with a clean paper towel and dispose of it. Always use clean disposable wipes so that you don't transfer bacteria. Essence is the best part of this skincare routine. Using the essence, it plumps the skin and allows for any moisturizers or creams that you use after it to penetrate the skin. It's a skincare boosting treatment that contains three superfoods. It's full of amino acids that plump and renew the skin. You'll pour a palm full of it into your hands, press your hands gently together, and then press it onto your face. And don't neglect your neck. Now that the skin is fresh and plump, let's add our moisturizer. This is called the water cream. A cream of poor refining Japanese wild rose and oil minimizing Japanese leopard lily that bursts to release refreshing hydration balanced skin. You will massage a pearl size amount onto the face and neck and your decolletage. I love the idea of how the green tea, the rice, and all of these moisturizers are getting into my skin. I'm adding my vitamin C serum by Derma E. This serum also contains hyaluronic acid that is amazing on my skin. This vitamin C concentrated antioxidant serum is a fast absorbing, high potency serum. 
It penetrates deeply to deliver protection and hydration to my skin. I can't stress this product enough. It has literally done wonders for my skin. If you have acne or dark spots, you definitely need to add a vitamin C serum to your skincare. This organic rosehip oil is amazing. And I like to mix it in with my sunscreen. I have the funniest story time <laughs> about me having this oil on my face throughout the day. But that's for another video. You can get this mini favorite at Sephora or you can go on www.tatcha.com. Now that my skin is clean and refreshed, let's get into our workout. really proud of myself so your girl <laughs> she ran four miles this morning yes I ran four miles this morning I've been trying to do more to take care of my body and I really would like to talk with you guys about what I am going to be doing more of to take care of my skin and my body <laughs> so yeah <sighs> I took a shower. Um, this morning's workout was something serious. I did over four miles, but I'm just proud of the four I did. Um, but I want to talk with you guys about my skincare and what I've been doing to take care of myself. I'm actually really proud of my skin. I love going makeup free. So that's why my skincare is so important. I'll tell you guys about everything that I'm trying to do here. So, okay guys. So this week, I thought that I would share with you how I take care of my skin. I wanted to show you guys my morning care routine and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's nothing major. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yes, like I said, I wanted to share with you guys my skincare routine and a lot of the foods that I eat so that that way you can kind of have an idea of how we can all take care of our temple from the inside out. That part of how, how our skin looks, the plumpness, the health of it, that glow that we're always seeing that we want. A lot of what we eat and a lot of things that we take in internally play a big part in our skincare. Everyone thinks a lot that it's just more surface. And of course, our surface things are a factor. Think a lot of pollution in the air. There could be um, a lot of different things that could cause you to have a lot of things that are on the surface of our skins. But what I eat, what I drink, plays a huge part in how I take care of this 49 year old skin. Yes, I'm 49. I know, I know, calm down, calm down. Okay, I just thought I would take a moment for the applause. Okay, yes, yeah, so like I said, there are a lot of things that we all have to do to take care of our temple, our full temple. What we do that takes care of our temple also affects how we take care of our mental. Our physical health is important, but a lot of our mental health is even more important. And right now in the world today, we are all experiencing different ups and downs with our bodies. Um, we've had things that were going on in the world a couple of years ago. That have really just spilled out onto this year. So a lot of people aren't in the best place in their life. So I hope that everyone is taking care of themselves. And these are just a few of the things that I would like to share with you. My skincare and what I eat. So let's continue on. Today. Since I have, um, I worked out this morning. I'm telling you, my workout. Let's tell you guys about my format. I'm going to keep on saying it because I almost hit five. And that's pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and fix me a bagel with my avocado. I want you guys to go ahead and cook with me. <laughs> my dog. I'm also going to show you guys the groceries that I got from Target this morning. And then we're gonna go ahead and get into my breakfast. So it's going to be a bagel with avocado and cream cheese. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my nails done after that. So, yeah. Let's get into my breakfast. Here are all of my goodies that I got from the store today. I'm gonna to make me some broccoli as a part of my meals. And I am going to use basmati rice instead of jasmine rice today. I do have my tomatoes, I have my bagels, I have shrimp because when I do add a little bit of meat this week, I'm going to probably use a little bit of shrimp. Alright, we do have our grapes as our snacks and I also like to have a few cuties as well, so I do have those. I have my eggs. These are vegetarian fed hen eggs. I don't even know if that makes a bigger difference. But this is a probably about, you know, the most that I'm going to get as far as um, when it comes to eggs. Um, I do like some of the other liquid eggs and the egg whites, but I'm, I'm not big on a lot of them. Um, anyway, I do have um, apples. I've got almonds. Oh, I do have some bagels, and this is what's going to go with my cream cheese. Now, these bagels are really, really good. I, I've come to really enjoy these other than the... Um, there was this other brand, I can't remember the brand, but I used to always get them, and now I am so hooked on these. And these are um, from by Dave's Killer Bread. They usually are the company that I now buy my 21 grain bread from, so yeah. I have a, I didn't take it out of the bag, and I don't know why, <laughs> but I also have a, um, a red tomato, I mean, I'm sorry. I have an onion and an avocado. And so today I will be having avocado toast with um, cream cheese and onions on it. I think I might cut tomatoes on it as well, but this is going to be my breakfast. So this is basically my breakfast. So let's go ahead and get that started. I'm gonna go ahead and get most of these groceries put away. Not much, but <laughs> let's go ahead and get my breakfast. To go ahead and get my breakfast started, I'm gonna first go ahead and cut the onion and the avocado. Make sure the avocado is ripe to scoop out of the shell. Avocados are full of vitamins and minerals that help promote healthy skin. I preheated my oven at 375 degrees for my bagel. 
I'm going to slice two hard boiled eggs and place them onto my plate. Once my bagel is done, I'm gonna go ahead and top it with cream cheese and one of the bagels will be sliced with parsley as well as red peppers. The second half of my bagel, I went ahead and mashed the avocado, spread the cream cheese as well as added red onions. This entire meal was a whopping 320 calories. In addition to eating avocado, you can also use it as a topical solution for your skin. Avocado contains vitamin B and biotin that helps with a healthy skin glow. Right now I am on my way to the nail shop and I want to take you guys along with me. Until you value yourself, you won't value your time. Until you value your time, you will not do anything with it.
guys. Okay, so I had to go to the dermatologist this morning. And I wanted to talk with you guys about certain skincare things that we probably, you know, as women of color, we don't think about things as far as chemical pills or how our vitamin D plays a factor in our skin. I have been prescribed vitamin D and that's because we don't get enough sun. We're working indoors. A lot of the times we're not getting a lot of things to our skin. So my vitamin D was up. I had a chemical pill and right now I'm feeling a little red in certain areas. And uh, my pillin usually, usually isn't like extensive, like it isn't bad. So um, I can expect a little bit of flakiness in maybe a couple of days. I went to Target um, just to look around for some sunscreen. It was this particular brand that I wanted to get. And I went to Sephora because I wanted to get these um, pads for acne. So I got some more skincare. I have some moisturizer that I got from the dermatologist and I'm just gonna mix a lot of different things in. I like using several products so that that way, you know, it can actually have a little bit more activation for my skin. I have very textured skin. Um, I Like I told you, I'm a woman of age, so there is a difference in my skin texture and the way I have to really protect my skin. It's lighter, so of course my melanin levels aren't as high. So I have to make sure that I'm protecting my skin as often as possible, let's just say that. Yeah, so what I'm about to do is I'm gonna make me a frittata. Um, I'm gonna make some grapes. I wanted to snack on some grapes. I've had a craving for them. And I'm gonna explain to you guys how all of this stuff really plays a part in how our skin maintenance is. So how we take care of our skin, again, what we put on the end plays a huge part in how it looks on the outside. So. Cook with me, um, I'm gonna make a frittata. So I hope you guys can cook with me. Yeah, it got frizzy, so. Treating your skin with natural rejuvenation at night allows it to be very durable during the day. My skincare routine varies from day to night. At night, I use a lot more heavy active ingredients. Nighttime is about getting rid of the daily buildup on our skin and it also assists with our skin repair. I have a double cleansing routine at night that I do just in case I have a lot of makeup and things on top of my skin. 
let's get started. Tatcha's Pure Camellia Cleansing Oil. This two-in-one cleanser breaks down your makeup and also softens the skin. This makeup remover and cleanser gently melts away impurities, waterproof makeup, and it leaves behind soft, silky skin. Cleansing oil is amazing at how it breaks down that makeup. I'll also use makeup wipes to wipe off the extra makeup. But we're not done cleaning. My second part of my cleansing includes the exfoliating cleanser. Using the cleansing oil and the exfoliating cleanser gives me a reassurance that that makeup is completely off my face. I used a facial scrub brush and I also moisturized. Aside from all that, I make sure before I go to bed, I have a clean pillowcase. Having clean sheets and pillowcases is very important for your skincare. You don't want to put your clean face on dirty sheets. I mean, that's it for my skincare routine and the things that I eat. Don't forget to keep that glowing skin and encourage others to live well. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.